So the first doors of the weekend edition of Thousand Doors Readathon are open. So this is it, the weekend edition of Thousand Doors is starting. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, this is a readathon that I am co-hosting with Emma from Drinking By My Shelf and Tasmin from Tea Books and Tasmin. I'll leave the announcement video link down below, but basically it is a choose your own adventure readathon. You start with a prompt and what you think of the book that you read for that prompt then determines what book you read next. And we've done it more advanced than ever before, there's over 40 different possible prompts and everyone is pretty much going to have a unique readathon readathon. No one, like, it's gonna be so different for everyone. There's so many different prompts you could end up with, but you're gonna have three in total in this readathon, and this is possibly the first one, but I will leave Emma and Tasman's first ones linked down below and you have to pick one of us to start your journey with. If you're new to my channel, I'm Megan. Hi, hello. <laughs> So it's really important that you bookmark whichever video you start with and whichever prompt you end up getting because you'll need to come back to that video like I said and at the end of each prompt once you've read the book that I give you for this prompt you will have to answer a question and that will determine which door you open next. DNFing will always be an option on the end screen and we're just here to have fun. It's a cute three day weekend edition of Thousand Dollars Readathon and I'm so excited you guys. We have got some of like the best prompts ever and so many is I don't think you guys understand how many possibilities there are for your journey on this readathon. Now each of us three co-hosts are giving our prompts in a kind of unusual and different way. Each of us is going to be giving it in a different way and mine are going to be once again based on memes. <laughs> I was not expecting that! So if you don't watch my channel, you may not know that I constantly have these stupid videos <laughs> throughout my videos, these stupid little clips, and uh, these are going to be your prompts. And I will give you some tips on how you can interpret the prompt, but it's super open to you. It literally could be like a book has that word in the title or something like that. It can be completely up to you, but I'm going to give you some tips on how to interpret the memes. So are you ready? Are you ready for your first prompt from me? You don't have to choose this one, you can choose any of the other ones, but like... <laughs> okay, so your first prompt is... I mean, let me ask the audience. So I think this is a really fun one. There's a couple options for what you can do. The first thing that comes to mind for me is do a poll on social media of a couple books you'd be interested in and whatever wins the poll, read that, start with that book. Or it can be a popular book you've heard spoken about a lot. Or if you're really brave, you could go into the comment section of a random YouTube video and read the first book that you, you see that you own. That would be kind of crazy, but like, you know, live life on the edge. <laughs> So that is your prompt, go away now, go pick a book, leave this video, go read that book and come back here once you've read it. Okay, bye. See ya. See ya, bye. <laughs> okay, you're back. I hope you enjoyed it, but let's see if you did because the question is what star rating did you give the book? So there's an option for four to five stars, so you really liked it. There's an option for three to one, one to three, three to one. <laughs> Three, one, two, whatever. There's an option for that, so whether you thought the book was average or really didn't like it. And there's an option for if you DNF the book. So go pick and I will see you soon, maybe, or maybe not.